Fry. A few ingredients you might need are some bell peppers. Here we've got some meatballs. We've got some Roma tomatoes. We've got garlic. We've got onion. You're going to need some mozzarella cheese, right? Mozzarella. Oh, yeah. You got to have the mozzarella. You got Italian style sausage. Here we've got smoke cured bacon. Mm. Right. We got some mushrooms. We've got some grated cheese. Here we've got some black olives. You're going to need a good tomato sauce, like a pizza sauce or your favorite uh, jarred sauce, right? You're going to need some good olive oil. Here we've got some red pepper flakes. This is some salt. You're going to need some sugar. This will be for the dough. You're going to need some yeast, some dry yeast, the active dry yeast. For some liquid, you're going to need some beer. All right, that's flat beer from last night's party. You need the flat beer. And, of course, you're going to need some flour for the dough as well. And, oh, yeah, you got some pepperoni. You got to have the pepperoni. Now, to make a great pizza, you need high temperatures, right? A 500 degrees minimum, five, 600 degrees. That's what makes the best pizzas, right? Now, we're going to use beer to make a pizza dough. And you start with three and three quarter cup all purpose flour. We got one and a half teaspoons of salt. We've got three tablespoons of sugar. And you're going to need the quick rise active dry yeast. And we're using about one and a half teaspoons. Now you can make the dough the way you want. It's up to you. Now, here we've got one and a half cups of flat beer. You can't use the fresh beer. You've got to have the flat beer, like I said. Now, all you do is mix it up real good. Simple enough, right? And then you're going to knead it or beat it down, right? This will help get that yeast activated and uh, it's going to help it rise. All right. The dough has been beaten down. We're going to cover it. And we're going to let it rise for about 45 minutes. And through the miracle of time, this dough has been risen. <laughs> All right. Now, let's make the first pizza. Throw some flour on the board. You probably know all about this, right? And you can see the dough has risen a bit. It's fluffed up. This is going to make a good pizza. Oh, yeah. And we're just going to roll it out with a rolling pin. We'll just stretch it out. We're going to make a, we'll make a large pizza on this one. This will be going into a 16-inch pan. You know how to do this, right? Now, if you've never made your own uh, pan pizzas at the pit before, you definitely got to check this out. This will be some of the best pizza you ever eat. All right. After a few minutes, you can see uh, we've got a good large pizza going here. And now we're making pan pizzas. We're not using a pizza stone. We're using a black iron pan. And you need a black iron pan in order to do this. We'll just stretch it. We'll make about a one inch edge around the perimeter. Oh yeah. Now this here is going to be the first pizza we make called the Pizza Supreme. Now, not all pizza houses have good Supremes, but uh, we're going to show you how we like our Supremes. Now, we're going to take some of that olive oil, and we're just going to rub around the edge in the, of the dough. And here we're adding some fresh ground black peppercorn. Season it a bit. And here we've got the sauce. Not going to use a lot, just spread it around. Oh, yeah. And use a good sauce, don't skimp. So 
Some of these uh, fast food takeout pizza places use lousy ingredients, from the sauce to the dough to the ingredients. Now, our Pizza Supreme starts with some sausage. We just removed the sausage from the natural casing. And here we're adding some pre-cooked meatballs. It's good. And of course, we've got some bacon. I'm going to add some mushrooms. How about some sliced Roma tomatoes? We've got some bell peppers, even some yellow ones here. And of course, we're going to throw on some thin sliced onions. And we've got the olives. Like I said, you make these up the way you want. Make a real pizza supreme. Oh, man. And here we've got some cloves of garlic. Just thin slice them a bit, roll them on. And here we're adding some grated Romano cheese. Oh yeah, you gotta have the Romano, right? And now, no pizza is complete without the fresh mozzarella cheese. So we'll just throw some chunks on it. Yeah. Are you getting hungry or what? And here we're hitting it with some more olive oil on the top. And we're gonna hit it with some fresh basil. We like the basil on our Supremes. All right, the oven is at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna throw it in. And we got that oven temperature at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We're good. And it should only take about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And through the miracle of time again, <laughs> you want to check the crust. More than using exact time, you just take a peek at the crust just like that, and that is done just the way you like it. Pull it off. Throw it on the board. Oh, oh baby. Slice it up. And this is far better than any delivery you can get. You must know that already, right? Oh, yeah. Real good quality ingredients. Didn't take long. With a beer dough. This is like brick oven style pizza. Some of the best in the world. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but um, we're going to do this now. And we call this Pitmaster Privilege. Oh. All right. 